dazzles and you look at talent and say wow i wish i could be like that and yet you find that excellence is not about talent alone in fact a major major part of excellence has nothing to do with talent and in course of time once you go beyond a certain level ability or talent is the most useless virtue to possess it's what you do with that talent that matters and that's why he used a word mukesh used a word that i love attitude beyond a point it is attitude that counts for far 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 more than talent because talent breeds an ego and talent never solves problems beyond a point and i was fascinated by something that sandy gordon said when we were doing a program together because i had seen a lot of young cricketers extremely talented who the moment they faced a roadblock did not know what to do because they had never had to struggle to succeed they always used their talent to succeed and vinod kamli is an example of that the moment courtney walsh bounced him in bombay he was 22 years old was he yeah he was 22 years old then in 1994 he was 22 years old didn't know what to do did not play a test match after that his last test match was when he was 22 years old just did not know how to play the bouncing ball because talent had solved everything for him before in the australian army when they are and this is something that doesn't come from sport but it's something a sports scientist told me that when they are building an elite core team they look at your career record your track record and if you've never failed they don't pick you they don't pick you because they say if this man experiences failure will he know what to do they pick people who failed and bounced back and that is where your attitude comes through and i mean let's look at excellence what is excellence about it's about being in the top 10% in your profession i mean i know i'm talking to people who want to be in the top 1% but there a lot of ordinary people around us around so let's say top 10% can talent take is talent important when you get to be in the top 10% i mean everybody in the top 10% will have the same talent right so what's your usp it's what you do with the talent that counts and unfortunately in our sport and i think in india as a nation we are we're dazzled by talent a great deal i have found that beyond a certain certain time in sport as indeed in broadcasting that your work ethic and your attitude counts from far far more than uh, far far more than talent i mean tendulkar is a prime example the moment you say tendulkar if i asked you to if you had one of those things that talk show hosts do i'll give you a word and you give me a connecting word in one word you say tendulkar you say talent right he played 55 games as a 14 year old without a break 55 days he practice for 2 hours play a game practice 2 hours fall asleep on the dining table and do that 55 days in a row that's attitude you know we think and this is something we talk about in our corporate lectures as well where uh, we advise against talent when tendulkar was born it wasn't that this nurse picked him up and said here mrs tendulkar your 70 hundreds for you <laughs> yeah it isn't tendulkar's talent that's produced 70 hundreds it's his work ethic it's his attitude and more than anything else when you reach the top it's his passion to perform and that counts for far more the attitude and the passion counts for far 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 more than ability ability opens the first door it might open the second door it's not going to open the last door for you because the guy who's bowling the ball at you has got equal ability as you he's not going to run up to bowl and say oh sorry you're a genius sorry i'll give you a simple ball <laughs> which what which is what india's bowlers did in 1948 when they went to australia they were so much in awe Then they said, "We are going to bowl to Bradman." It was understandable in those days. India was a